Wait, where is this piece of There we go. Put together. Hello everybody. So I decided to do a little vlog this week. So my goal for 2018 is to make a video at least once a week and I've already messed up but it's never too late to hit reset. So I actually ran into my friend Teresa last night. Shout out to Teresa. I know you're watching this. Um, and she was like bugging me about why I haven't been making videos and I'm like, you're right. I need to do it. So I'm currently on my lunch break right now from work. I come home to my apartment. I've just been sitting here. I already ate. Also, Christmas tree is still up. I feel like it's like totally acceptable to keep it up until the end of January. And it's just like so pretty. I don't want to take it down. Anyways, I am hanging out, eating. I'm watching some of Claudia's videos. I think I've watched like two so far, but <clears throat> Claudia is like one of my favorite YouTubers. She's also from Illinois and I just feel like we would vibe. Like if I were to move to California, like I'd want to be her friend. I mean, I wanted to be her friend even though I live in Arizona, but like we would be friends. For lunch I had a chickpea wrap, chickpea salad. So like chickpeas and mayo and like a bunch of other stuff. It's on my Instagram if you want to see the recipe. Oh, I want to get It's just like a creepy, it's just kind of creepy. Oh, I'm gonna show you guys something. So, I am launching an online store in t February. So, I hired a girl online to do my branding, like my logo, and she just delivered the final files. I wish I was vlogging earlier so you guys could have seen like transformation of it, but maybe I can talk about it like later tonight after I get home from work. <clears throat> But let me show you. So it's on this website called Fiverr, I think. And um, you can find like really affordable uh, people on here to do your designs. So these are my final, this is the final concept that we came up with. Yay, it's so pretty. And she just gave it to me in different um, formats. My lunch break is running low I don't know um, so I have to go back to work but you know I might as well just take you guys with me so let's go Finishing up at work. It is 5:20. I probably still have like 40 minutes. Left. She got here like nine. So, she so I need to six. stay till six. Thank you, Reagan. And I was going to introduce you to two of my coworkers Woo! who sit at my table. This is the cool table. We this got yeah, Reagan. Cool hey. uh, Taylor, <laughs> cool Taylor does not count. <laughs> <laughs> She's our fourth member right now. Uh, Lauren's our editor. Wow, I'm just like zoomed in. And Reagan's like does, I don't know what she does. PR. Oh, PR. sick. I well, I thought I would show you guys what I'm working on. I just exported this um, time lapse of our designer Amy doing some design work. And I reformatted it to um, be an Instagram story size and added some music. So I just exported this, now I'm going to send it to our phone, um, cut it into 15 second clips, and post it on Instagram. Exciting stuff. Yeah. There is seriously no better feeling than coming home, taking off your bra and your underwear, and putting on some pajamas. Some pajamas. <laughs> it's been about an hour and a half, I watched. <laughs> So I'm keeping up with the Kardashians. Now I'm watching Fixer Upper while I make dinner. I just 
just love. I love you. But for dinner, I'm gonna make just pasta. This is gnocchi. And then I'm gonna put some noodles and some sauce and maybe some like garlic and spinach. So I decided to get a little fancy and I'm gonna put the broccoli in the oven at 350 for maybe like 10 minutes. And then I'm gonna make, um, I'm gonna add to the marinara sauce and I'm gonna add some garlic and then I'm gonna chop up some of the onion um, for the sauce. I don't have any more canned tomatoes, so that's what I'm working with. Finished the pasta, I added um, the noodles, the broccoli, the sauce. I also added tomato sauce because I was running low on the marinara. Um, spinach and nutritional yeast, which gives it like a cheesy flavor, but... The worst part is almost spilling on my white comforter that I just dry cleaned. Does anyone else eat in bed? Like, what? okay, I could eat right there, potentially, but like, I just love eating in bed. It's such a bad habit because I literally have a white comforter and will probably get this pasta sauce everywhere. <laughs> it happened. It happened. It happened. It happened. Nah. <laughs> I'm so dramatic. our meeting so on Tuesdays we actually work from home but we do have a meeting in the morning at a um, local restaurant so that's where I'm heading now you may be wondering why my lights were on this morning when I woke up well that's because um, I have a, a system where the app I use to wake up I have to go take a picture of my hallway in order for the alarm to turn off and then as I go to turn the alarm or take the picture I turn on all my lights so by the time I get back to my bed all the lights are on and I have a hard time sleeping with the lights on and then I set a second alarm for 10 minutes later so if I want to lay down in bed for 10 minutes I can and then I typically get up but today I didn't get hardly any sleep over the weekend so I was just super tired and decided to let myself sleep in and by decided I mean I accidentally fell back asleep so I woke up kind of late but I had like 20 minutes to get ready, maybe 10, uh, and now I'm heading to our meeting. So we were supposed to have a meeting at that coffee shop that I just walked into. We got some coffee, but turns out there was no tables, so we are actually taking the meeting back to our office, which is not a big deal because it's only like a mile down the street. So now, coffee in hand, I'm going back to the office. finished up the meeting I had to stay after a little bit to help my um, bosses record a video but it is now 12 30 I came home I'm gonna make some lunch here because I don't want to spend any money um, and then I'm gonna go drive to a local coffee shop um, when I work from home I prefer to work at coffee shops because I don't know if when I'm because when I work at home I usually work in my bed and I feel like that triggers behaviors that come with bed like the bed so like it's easier to get distracted or get off task. Whereas if I go to a coffee shop, that kind of like triggers my work mode, if that makes sense. So yeah, I'll take you guys to the coffee shop with me. Um, 
Let me see what I can whip up for lunch. For lunch, I'm just gonna whip up something that's already made. So this is just like a mixture of rice, beans, um, corn, peas, and I just heat it up in a bowl and then add any toppings like salsa or avocado. Um, and then I eat it with some chips. It's super easy, like bur burrito bowl. I think there's some onions in there too. So, when I opened up the container, I got a whiff and I think it's bad. I'm usually like, if I'm being honest, I get pretty sketchy with my eating. Like something goes on the ground, like I typically will still eat it. Or if like it's a little bit past the expiration date, I'll still eat it. But when something smells bad, then it's kind of a little iffy. So my backup plan is avocado. Chip. I got to the coffee shop and I had to parallel park and I got it on the first try. This has never ever happened to me in my entire life and I am so proud of myself. So that is officially my win of the day. I can parallel park people. Tell your friends and tell your family. And that's about all I gotta say about it. I just got home from work and immediately had to do a call with my life coach and <laughs> this is what my bed looks like after my life coaching call. I have my printer on it. Uh, we went and like mapped out my schedule and talked about a few other things. Um, so basically I got my life coach, I wanna say like two months ago, three months ago. And she's really just helps me like dive into like my purpose, um, business goals that I have, personal development, um, any fears that might be holding me back that I don't realize, like getting to the deep root of it. If I have like a freelance client and need help communicating with them, she gives me ideas on how to do that. She's just all around a great time and helps me with everything. Life coaches are pretty expensive, especially the good ones, but I totally think it was worth the investment. And honestly, free help will only take you so far because when you actually pay for something, there's so much more at stake. And I'm like, if I don't get my shit together within the four months and how much I'm paying her, like, it's just not an option. I'm like, when you pay someone to do something, you literally make sure you get all your money's worth. And that's all I, that's what I'm gonna say about that. <laughs> so the way I started, everything even my logo was creating a pinterest board um my store is going to be called hustle and vibe and if you go to the bottom i just pin things that kind of represented my store what i wanted the logo to be based off of 
So like crystals, moons, these are um, star constellations. I really like these ampersand, um, girl power, more crystals, kind of just like defining the vibes. And I think it was to like about here that I pinned. Um, that was what was on my board when I sent it to the designer. So now I've gone through and thought about my ideal customer and pinned what her living room would look like, what her bedroom might look like, what her office would look like. And then I pinned like certain influencers who I would want to buy my stuff. So this is Claudia, who I talked about earlier. Claudia again, Lauren Elizabeth, um, Cartia. Oh my God, am I saying her name wrong? Cartia Milan? Cartier. I don't know why, I just really feel like I'm saying it wrong, but I love her videos. Um, and then I also pin like, if I wanted to take a picture, hold on Sam, if I wanted to take a picture, how would I style it, like flat lay styles. The next part I'm working on is actually the colors, but I wanted to show you a really easy way to form a color palette. So I use this tool um, it's canva.com slash color dash palette. And all you have to do is upload an image. So I just grabbed some of the ones I liked from Instagram. So for example, this is not the colors I would use, but if you really liked this yellow look, it literally creates and grabs colors from the photo to create you kind of like a color palette. And it's just a really good place to start. From here, what I do is go to Canva and I kind of did a mood board on the first page. So I just upload all the photos from my mood board. Then I screenshotted all the color options that I pulled from these photos. And now from here, I'm going to separate these into individual images and then um, start pairing all these colors into groups of five. So I'm just gonna mix between each color palette and kind of get the color that I want. And I'll show you how I did it with my last project. So this is the one I did for my personal branding. Um, I kind of like played around with it. So like the first page, I cut out certain colors. So these are all the colors I didn't end up using from the four palettes. Uh, then I started forming them into like groups and then I kind of like did this and I would replace one color to see which one I liked more or the green if I like that better and then I started going through fonts that, that could be options pairing them like this grouping them in with a font and a shape and a brush stroke to see how it all works together. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing for my Etsy shop to kind of figure out my branding. so excited my friend i was just looking at her instagram story tomorrow if you're watching this and she's literally with tart in maui because that's where she lives and she's with sierra Furtada. like oh my god look this is literally sierra i'm just like fangirling i just love her videos and i cannot believe like my friend is with her right now i like told her to say hi for me oh my god this is insane so the color is not showing up true to the match, but it's like this really pretty like tannish pink color. And I think it looks really good with the white. So I'm going to actually save this and send it to my phone and put it as the Instagram icon just to see what it looks like in a small circle. Okay, so if you guys are curious, this was the original logo I made and it's just bad um so i'm really glad i got it redone look i just put it in the instagram icon hopefully this is gonna focus this is when i want it to you can kind of see it but it looks so good okay so for the rest of the night i need to make dinner for one i'm gonna finish up my branding but i'm gonna wrap up the vlog before i do that i did mention earlier that me and my life coach um went and started planning out my week and i just wanted to show you what exactly we did to do that
finish off this vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing what two days in my life is like uh, working, doing freelance stuff, as well as starting my own business or online shop. If you guys want to see more videos like this, please let me know in the comment or just leave a comment at all just so I know who you are and if you watch because I'd love to get to know you guys. Uh, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'm going to be making videos every week and you know why I'm going to do that? It's because I'm going to freaking plan it in that sheet. Anyways, I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.